We've talked about uh, a lot of the electronic components that get put onto a, a perimeter a fence system, but one of the most important parts that you know we get the questions asked about is the cabling itself. Sure. Now, uh, right in front of us, we have two different types of cables that Southwest Microwave makes: one armored, one non-armored. And can you tell us a little bit about both, and what are the applications we'd utilize those for? Sure. Well, the MicroPoint cables we have here. Uh, both the standard sensor cable and the armored sensor cable are part of the Intrepid Series 2 system. These are the sensors that we use on the fence. So these cables actually provide the detection response and transmit that back to the processors which analyze it. So the cable is the most important part of the system. And how do those cables do that, the processing, that, or being able to send that signal back? Sure, there's a mechanical action that happens within inside the sensor cable, mm -hmm. and uh, that mechanical action, the movement of those sensor wires, it's important that we protect that. And so that leads us into the discussion of gotcha. why standard versus armored cable. Okay. So with the fence-mounted system, most fences, most sites, would use the standard cable, the MC-115 standard microplane cable. Okay. Uh, this is installed on the fence using uh, UV-rated plastic ties, uh, maybe a flat stainless steel tie, depending on the type of material it's on. Okay. Um, these can go on to barbed wire, it can go on chain link, rigid fence like we've got here mm -hmm. behind us. When you start getting to those applications that has a little bit higher security function, where they have razor coil on top of the fence. Okay. Or if they have, uh, like some nuclear plants, for example, have a fence that's actually made of razors, so that if you mm -hmm. grab it, you're actually putting your fingers in little razor okay. slots. Something like that, it'd be much better to use the armored cable because of these stainless steel strands that protect the inner sensor. Okay, all right, so if you're looking for something with better protection somewhere, you're using razor wire um, where you're going to be, you know, maybe the public could be picking at it or trying to break it or something of that nature, you want to use the armor jacketed. But n no, normal applications on a fence, the standard cable is more than adequate, you know, and uh, it is UV rated, so again, you're going to get the longevity and long life out of it. Yeah, I would recommend people think of it as more along the lines of uh, if it's not going to be used on a razor specifically, mm -hmm. if you're just looking at normal fence, right. think of like a tamper prone zones. Mm -hmm. uh, so where if the public may have access to get onto the fence itself right. or uh, to like a correction site, for example, where inmates may be interacting or next to the fence where the mm -hmm. sensor is installed on. So this is an added layer of protection. Okay. These stainless steel strands, again, they protect that inner sensor cable. So none of this is affected when this outer jacket is damaged. Gotcha. Great. Tim, thank you so much. Sure.